What's up guys, Wu here, back again with another Division 2 build video guys. In today's video, I'm bringing you my Negotiator's Dilemma build for PvE. Now this is the first kind of build I've done using this gear set, and frankly, I've been enjoying this for a long, long time. But a time and a place, and I thought I'm going to try this now in 10.1, and guys, it's freaking amazing. It is brilliant. Paired it with the Pestilence, and guys, you just don't look back. Using the Pestilence on Negotiator's Dilemma is just so powerful, and you look and you see those numbers, those nice little tick, and you think beautiful. Again, if you're not a big fan of skill damage or anything like that, then this is brilliant. It really, really is. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thumbs doodle. That really, really helps. If you're new to the channel, drop the woo bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my content. And finally, guys, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description if you want to help support the woo. Guys, let's move this. Peeps, here it is. This is my Negotiator's Dilemma PvE DPS boom build. This is great. Really, really great. Now, there aren't very many iterations how you can roll with this setup. What I recommend, if you're going to roll with this, is Gunner Specialization, simply because Armor on Kill is handy. Two, the extra fire rate. That is also handy, given you've got the Pestilence, and it does shoot sometimes a little bit slow. And then you have three. The third option is that quicker reload after so many reloads, which also helps. Because the Pestilence takes a year to reload. You know it, guys. You know it. Now, I'm wrong with the four-piece ND gear set, which is strong. It really is. Now, my thought process in rolling with this is let's build as much critic chance as possible on the build to make it as powerful as I can. Now, I've used this with more crit damage and less crit chance, and the damage output was less than what I'm using with this. I've tested this in the range. I'm getting about 2.2 million DPS with this setup, and then what I've done, I've switched out a piece of Groupo onto the build and another piece of ND. And guys, what I've got is about 10% less crit hit chance, but about 20% extra crit hit damage. However, my DPS output was about 1.9 million. So guys, I feel the critic chance is the way to go on this setup. Now, guys, as you can see, this is a red build, all red. So six offensive and 11 yellow, 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 guys. I nearly said yellow, 11 red attributes. I'm in skill build mode, guys. I am. I've got a few awesome skill builds I'll show you over the coming days. But today, I've got to show you this because I'm loving it. But anyway... So 726k armor, 284k health, zero skill tiers. This is a filthy red build, guys. It's all about the damage. Let's go through the gear. Coach's mask. Guys, it is best in slot on this. There's just no shadow of a doubt. It's going to elevate your crit chance. It's going to elevate your crit damage. Why wouldn't you use it? And look at this, guys. It is beautifully god sausage rolled. It really is. So, guys, for me, this is the piece to go for and look at the bonuses when you're firing between 0 and 15 meters that's 25 percent critical hit damage 15 and 25 meters 10 percent crit hit damage and 10 percent crit hit chance and then you got not sorry 25 meters plus and that's 25 percent critical hit chance the holster guys yes as i said seska viroba that's 10 percent crit hit chance nice weapon damage a little bit low side for crit hit damage and six percent critical hit chance it's key to build the crit on this build the first piece of Negotiator's Dilemma is the knee pads. What does that gear set do for me? The two piece is crit hit chance of 15%. The three piece is 20% critical hit damage. The four piece is hostile negotiations. Critical hits mark enemies for 20 seconds, up to three marks total. When you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of the damage dealt. Whenever a marked enemy dies, gain 2% critical hit damage. Stacking up to 20 times. That's, guys, that's 40% critical hit damage. That's nice. Or until the combat ends. 11.4% weapon damage and a 12% critical hit damage attribute, which is tasty. The gloves, which is the second pair of ND. What we're rolling with is 10.4% weapon damage, 11.7% critical hit damage. The backpack, again, is the third piece of ND gear set. What that is all about, this is the core attribute, 11.5% weapon damage, 4.7% critical hit chance, 11.5% critical hit damage. You can see, guys, I have not re-rolled this. I've not decided to put some more weapon damage on here or go for some more crit. I'm not, I've not decided yet. However, the talent is all about critical measures. Increases hostile negotiations damage to additional marked enemies from 60% to 100%. 
that is awesome and i think that's the best way to go on this setup and then we have the chess piece the chess piece is the final piece of negotiator's dilemma and you can see guys max weapon damage max crit hit damage and 11.6 percent critical hit damage mod lovely beautiful god roll chess piece target rich environment increases hostile negotiating smart count from three to five and that simply means is when you're in guys in all honesty heroic content in challenging content npcs will just go down like butter same as hard it, it's not very difficult at all however in heroic content when you're facing multiple npcs and in a group you know you can tag up to five npcs focus on one and then just batter that one npc and you'll see the others just drop like a fly it's brilliant and that's why i like using the five as opposed to the three and plus this is god roll as well so it's nice to have now let's take a look at the skills the skills mean diddly squat don't worry about the refill speed it, i'm in the range and it's enabled i mean i've not changed it because it doesn't mean anything anyway on this build so the healing is 62414, which is nothing. It's nothing. But I just I like a little bit of sustenance, a little bit of a heal. It's nice. And that's why I've opted to roll with that. And the mods, guys, again, healing, repair charges, and health. My first skill is the striker drone, which I do like, and that causes a distraction for NPCs. It's a nuisance for those horrible bullet sponge buggers. So that 19k damage isn't an awful lot, and there won't be any bonuses to elevate that damage. However, it's still a nice tick of damage i like this duration damage and health let me take a look at the weapons the primary weapon guys is all about the pestilence this is the weapon of choice on this build i've tested rifles i've tested ars uh, smgs they're all okay this is where it's at pestilence you see guys it's nicely rolled it really is plague the outcast Hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. Awesome. Guys, NPCs will die to this frequently and quite often, regardless of content. This is really, really strong. And the, the debuff that, that he's just spread to NPCs is brilliant. It really is. Loving this absolutely dreamy on a dps build you just see more numbers fly and that is what you want in this kind of content in terms of mods again guys we know that exotics the mods are fixed and their rate of fire stability and accuracy a secondary is the baker's dozen um yeah I, I don't use this guys i just don't use it however it's there for show i'm all about the pestilence on this build so whatever i do is not going to benefit it really but it does hit quite hard, as we do know the Baker's Dozen is still a powerful rifle. And that's perfect lucky shot. Magazine capacity is increased by 30%. Missed shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. Now, the mods are simply critical hit chance, their optimal range, and more critical hit chance. And the song remains the same for the secondary, which is the backup boomstick. Again, guys, I don't use this weapon. It's all about the pestilence. That's all I use on the build. Um, but if we're running a again a directive where all the directives are on in heroic content i will switch to the liberty or i'll switch to uh, a different weapon something like this which is decent again has more rounds in the mag but guys again it's all about the pestilence on this now we, we take a look at the stats which is highly important now with this you can see guys 101 922 weapon damage that's that's decent that's pretty decent i'm not rolling with the contractor's gloves i'm not rolling with any extra added bonus lmg damage you've seen the rolls on the gear they're good they're not great they can be a little bit better nd pieces again just you know weapon damage when they're about 11 or 12 percent they could be a little bit higher so there's room for improvement on the setup see guys 41.7 percent critical chance 155.1 critical hit damage as i said early in the video that i have lowered my critic chance upped my critic damage and the output of dps was less so for me i went down the route of more critical hit chance it was more beneficial to me and the build all weapons damage bonus is 87.8 percent and then we have a 29 percent lmg damage bonus if you can somehow shoehorn some lmg damage bonus on there again guys that will help you even more so guys the good thing with this as well, you can see my watch level is 468. We take a look at the offensive wheel on this, and you can see that my um, critical damage is nearly maxed. 
but my critical chance I haven't touched yet so there's again lots of room for improvement if you're running with a full wheel or you've maxed out critical chance already you know you can get over 50% critical chance and then you have that sexy coat is mass so you're at max crit hit chance on the build if you have a really good SHD watch level that's what it's all about so guys let me know what you think in the comments section this is absolutely awesome which I'll show you in the range run very hard let's just tag a few NPCs It's just nice to see, isn't it? You see, it's nice to see them gradual, gradual debuffs. I like that. 599,607. Awesome. See that guy's been there? He's on nearly 600k of, of debuff. And that's what I love about this build. So much damage. So many ticks of damage. It's brilliant. Pestilence, Negotiator's Dilemma, 600k ticks, this is where it's at. Love this build, really, really enjoy it. Guys, check it out. I know it's a bit old school, but old school is usually the best school. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Peace.